Well, I'm out here in Clackamas County at the Oregon Lavender Farm with Jim, and we're talking about this great festival, which is in its second year now. So let's talk about last year's for a minute, though. It was very successful for you. We were really excited. We had 3,000 people here approximately. Wow. We didn't know it was our first one, whether or not we were going to get 300. And uh, It was a pleasant it surprise, was, it wasn't was quite it? An event. And you had all kinds of things happening, which is still going to be happening this year. That's right. We're going to have some wineries, some local nice. wineries. We have a local brewery which is actually going to feature a special lavender ale this year. Wow. And uh, we're also going to have two bands that are going to play, uh, Little Sue and Bamboo. And, you know, there, there's the, even the opportunity for uh, some of you that come out here to do some harvesting and help with that process. You're going to be making the first press of lavender oil of the That's year, right? That's right. We open the uh, lavender festival with our first harvest and distillation. And so an important part of the lavender festival is enjoying that special uh, essence that uh, is captured when uh, you dis distill. Well, you know, and, and one of the things, we're holding this lovely picture up here. Tell us about what this is, is going on with this. This is a uh, fine art print that uh, was done by Steve Minsky that portrays our farm. And this is a uh, fundraiser. Uh, we're going to have signed and numbered prints, and we're going to have 50% uh, of the proceeds of the signed and numbered prints are going to be going to uh, Clackamas Community College for a scholarship for their horticulture program. Nice. That's really nice. And you know, a lot of people think of lavender, they think of fragrance, they think of soap, but we're going to run over to another area right now and look at some lavender chicken you got cooking up. That's right, and a little bit of dessert to go with it. <laughs> Well, now we're up here on this wonderful balcony overlooking Mount Hood and a table of food before us. This is something that's really kind of new for you this year. That's right. This year we've added a variety of different uh, culinary lavender dishes. Uh, Shane Rainey and Jennifer have been working diligently, and I'll let them tell you about uh, what we've got. So Shane, uh, last year you did have some lemonade and stuff, but you've really expanded the food this year. Yeah, we got a lot of high praise for what happened last year with the the especially the lavender lemonade and mm -hmm. we really wanted to add more of a, a chicken dish and really really get into the ice cream also because that's becoming really popular yeah yeah and it, and it looks delicious so Jim tell us again about the hours and what's going on today well the festival starts at 10 o'clock where we'll do our first distillation of the year there's opportunities for people to help out uh, in harvesting um, we'll also have the music the food so come on out it, it's a one day only event it ends at five o'clock Look forward to seeing you here. So it runs all day Saturday till 5 o'clock. Lots correct. of fun stuff going on. Um, if you have any other uh, questions, you can go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to their website. I think we should all sit down and have a bite. Okay. Okay.